It's judicial helter-skelter, man. I mean, we're talking 1693 Salem here. Our investigator made the exact same point while riding a broomstick. Oh, it's wild. Sh should I do that in court? No. no. Do you have any 21st century arguments for why the float test is junk science? <laughs> Only about a dozen. Put me in the game, man. Let's tear it all up. I can't tell you how thrilled we are that you're willing to testify. Mm. Thank you. There's just... Well, I think there's just one other thing that we need to ask of you, if you don't mind. Anything to dare down these fascists. Would you be willing to get a haircut? And trim your beard? Think of a trial as a show, except in this case, we have an audience of one. Okay, I'll wear the suit, but that's it. Dr. Winkler, this is my friend Chaz, who is one of the top stylists in Chicago. Oh my God, Vi, he's adorable. Why did you tell me how cute he was? Hey man, how you doing? Oh, better now that I met you. We just need to trim a little bit of that shag away so your beautiful eyes can take center stage. I don't know. You know like my hair is my spiritual identity. It, it's who I am. You know? You're so much more than your hair. Trust me, you're gonna look great. Okay, if, if I do this, mm -hmm. uh, how much are you gonna cut? Oh, just a touch. Oh my God, you look amazing. Really? <laughs> yes, queen. And now, Final touch. Ugh, wild man. And please don't say man in court. In your expert opinion, is the so-called float test reliable? No, the opposite. The float test has been proven to be extremely unreliable. So many factors can cause the test to give a false positive. There is a consensus among forensic pathology practitioners that test lacks scientific validity. How could the test give an inaccurate result? Decomposition could produce uh, post-mortem gases. Uh, if there was any attempt at resuscitation, that could expand the lungs, which would, like, cause them to float. So a lung could test negative and even then still float? Absolutely, man. Uh, <clears throat> heuristically speaking, it's not only possible, it's likely. Uh, the, the test is so flawed, it's been outlawed in several states. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dr. Winkler. That was very informative. Let me ask you a few questions. Is it possible the baby still took a breath? It's highly unlikely. But is it possible? It's possible, Your Honor, but the float test isn't accurate enough to prove it. 